Hello everybody, I'm Caleb Hack. Welcome to another video. This month I read five books in total. The first book I read was Puddinhead Wilson. The story of this book follows Roxy, a slave who swaps out her son and her master's son, and it follows them on this path. Now there's a few other storylines that are also going on, and I won't get into those. What the main theme of this book is, is to show that slavery is wrong and awful and showing how inhumane slavery really is. I certainly thought that this book was good, but I didn't think it was great. And overall, I rate this book six out of 10. The second book I read is Beowulf. Now, what's interesting about Beowulf is that the story was actually made by Scandinavians in England. And what the book was essentially driving home was that heroism is something of the past. And in Scandinavia, before the Scandinavians came to England, there was a hierarchy. And at the top of this hierarchy was heroism. And this might not be heroism as you think of it, but rather it is this warrior archetype. Now the warrior archetype is this man who has unbelievable strength, shows loyalty and bravery. And that's definitely the main story of Beowulf. But his overall morality, that's the problem. And no matter how strong he is, he still never stopped his fellow townspeople from being safe. And what the Scandinavians were really demonstrating is that morality needs to be at the top of a hierarchy rather than heroism. You see the Scandinavians, they recently had converted to Christianity. And that's why you see pagan and Christian themes throughout this book. Overall, I rate this book 8 out of 10. The third book I read is Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. Sir Gawain was on the round table. He's actually the weakest. He is tempted three times throughout this book. These three temptations demonstrate how a nearly perfect Christian knight should operate. Now, I say nearly for a specific reason. I'm not going to tell you what that is. It's for you to read. But I think it actually reinstates the point they're trying to communicate best because they're showing this Christian walk. And because he makes the mistake that he does, it's showing that there's still room for improvement. And I think that's kind of one of the main ideas throughout the Bible, especially the New Testament. Overall, I rate this book 8 out of 10. The fourth book I read is The Selected Canterbury Tales. Now, these aren't all the Canterbury Tales, but only the ones that were selected for this book. The one I ended up writing a paper about was The Knight's Tale. I wrote a paper about heroism where I discussed whether or not Beowulf, Sir Gawain, and Palamon, one of the characters in Knight's Tale and the Canterbury Tales, are heroes. What's interesting about The Knight's Tale is that it was really a story about courtly love. And what's interesting about all three of these books is that how the culture was at the time dictated what these books are trying to communicate. A new final book I read is Paradise Lost. Now, uh, the story itself I thought was good. It's interesting, some people think that Satan was actually put in a positive spotlight. That he was not shown as this evil person that he really was. I don't think the criticism holds up. And if you have read this book, please let me know what you think in the comments down below, whether or not you think that Satan was actually painted in a positive light. Overall, I rate this book 7 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. Kalevac, signing out.